to uh, come away and show our best score. I know we said so, we came away last time. In the end, was a no town of contention with them, but had the running eight runs back in the. And the hairs on the move. Off the road from the come on, just a little awkward coming away, lost about a length too. Thank you, some information on the ground racing. This is called side to it. Thank you. Yeah. My name's Brenda and I've been coming to the Wimbledon Dog Stadium now for just under two years. We've had a campaign to try and close this track down. Um, we started off where we was coming here at, at uh, quarter past five to see the uh, race goers go into the track but we had a problem because the uh, officials inside were taking the leaflets off of them so what we decided to do was to come here when the race goers were leaving so that's why we start the campaign at, at 10 15. they would say that they would always say they look after their dogs but we have proof that these dogs are, you know, turning up in different places and that all the rescue centres are overflowing with greyhounds. And this is because of the breeding, you see. The ones that looks they have got, they probably do look after them reasonably well. It's the ones that are, the, that are discarded that we're interested in and the ones that get injured. This is their day. They watch TV. They lie on the sofas. They sleep. They eat. They watch TV, they lie on the sofa, they sleep, they eat. I've had greyhounds now for about six or seven years. At one time, uh, my partner and I had six of them and that was uh, quite an incredible experience. It was great to do. I've got three now. If you could imagine a world where they just raced and people bet on them, and they were looked after and cared for. And when they retire, they were, they were given another life. I wouldn't have any objections. It's the fact that it's, it's, it's big bucks. It's a lot of money in racing. And when you get people together with a lot of money, something tends to go. And of course, it's always the animals. Charlie, five to two, joint two, which is Rollers Blue. A win of two seconds, last three, all of which have been in handicaps. Um, yeah, it's not that hard to be honest with you, really. It's finding out what every dog likes, whether some dogs like galloping or walking or some dogs really just like being left alone. They like going out in the paddock and being put away and that's what makes them run the best. But you have to find out what each individual dog likes and wants uh, in order to make it run the fastest race it can. But they're always checked over. There's a qualified vet, checks them before and after they run. So they're always uh, kept a strict eye on. They've actually got two kennels here devoted to uh, the retired greyhounds. And there's so few tracks with two kennels devoted. I mean, a lot of them maybe have one, if that. Um, and these, like, you know, the, the support system they do is terrific, really is. They're doing a lot more, to be honest with you. I think possibly maybe more kennels would be nice to see. Um, where, however many spaces there are, there's always more spaces needed. Uh, and when there aren't spaces, then they stay with the trainer that's got them. So uh, sometimes we have room, other times we don't. And it stops us bringing other dogs in while we've got those there. Uh, so, but we'll always look after them and always make sure they're looked after. But it would be nice maybe to see a couple more kennels around the place devoted to retired greyhounds. Joey here went out on the track the first day as a puppy. He was only a few months old. They take them to try them out. And the first day he was so enthusiastic. You won't find that hard to believe because you've seen him. And he broke his wrist. And it was a very bad break. He's got a plate in this wrist. Um, so that was the end of a racing career. So that's the point about aftercare. You know, he was finished as far as racing was concerned at about nine months old. Clover um, had a broken leg. 
um, either done through racing or perhaps you know in the in the skirmish of getting them all in the van so she's got arthritis in it and I got I got Clover at uh, three she was three They're all like part of my family, really. <laughs> I mean, my me, me daughter better not hear me say that. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you do get quite close to them because you know exactly how they are, what they do, and their little quirks, and, you know, what they like, what they dislike. And, really, that's all part of how you get them to race reasonably well. I never like to see them get hurt. You know, any athlete can get hurt. It's the same with greyhounds. Thankfully, it doesn't happen too often. Uh, and it's my job really to make sure that they don't get hurt, as in I find injuries before they happen. So if I can do that and they don't get hurt, then there's no real downside if I can stop them getting hurt. So thankfully it doesn't happen too often. What is it that you enjoy most about training greyhounds? Winning races. <laughs> that's, the, that's the end of it all, really. I mean, I love to see dogs run well, but I do love to win races, which is what it's all about, really. <laughs> Tony Taylor, greyhound trainer. I've been working with dogs since... Your dog's got hurt there. Yeah, I see it, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, can we do that again? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Tony Taylor, ground trainer. I've been working with dogs since 1971, been a trainer since 1991. I just have a very high regard for animals and I think that they really do get a raw deal. Um, they're treated appallingly. Uh, they have very little rights. I would like to see the whole place shut down. Even if they improved the welfare, that, that still wouldn't satisfy me because I don't think animals should be exploited. So for me, it's... Um, it, it, any animal that's being exploited is wrong. So it's, it's just, it wouldn't be good enough just to say, well, we'll treat them nice. That, that wouldn't be good enough for me. I, I, I just don't like the whole idea of making money out of animals. Hello, there's some information on the ground racing. There's a pool site, okay. Yeah, friends have punched me in the face again. And Sorry? Kill what did you say? Friends have punched me in the face again. Um, you've been filmed, so you're trying to run me over again, yeah? You're trying to run oh, me over, I'm getting oh, out a leaflet. Oh, no. I just tell you what happens to the dogs. Thank you. I'm a Mr. Barry Buff, Mr. Joseph, Mr. Joseph, and Mr. Puppet Chris Dulu. Trap by three, second was trap two, Broadway Hero, third trap three. There's a lot of money in the racing industry, a lot of money, and really precious little is spent on the greyhounds. Now that's not to say all trainers and all owners. Some trainers, some owners spend a lot of money on the greyhounds, but as an industry it has a long way to go.